Welcome to the Poly demonstration of IoT control spying robots. So in this project, we are going to control the direction of this robot in four directions: forward, backward, left, right, from the browser. And also, we are going to control the uh, laser. So here we are using laser as a shooting gun purpose. In real time, this is going to be continuously on to check the point, and then we are going to control in the trigger with the help of this transistor board. So here, for demonstration purpose, directly we are going to control in the laser by on and off with the help of the transistor. As we know, the transistor will act as a switch. And next, continuously we will get the video output with the help of this ESP32 camera on a browser. So on the browser itself, below of this video streaming, we will get the uh, like options to control the robots along with the laser and headlight of this ESP32 camera. The whole system driven by this 12 volt 1 amp battery. So it consists of three 4 volt 1 amp batteries are in series. So we will get 12 volt 1 amp and which is a rechargeable battery. So in order to recharge this battery, connect the B to the B here. So here we wrote B and B to the B and at the same time transformer T to the T. So then after provide the 230 volts input to the transformer then there is a light indication on the charger so it will be fully charged in a duration of 8 to 10 hours once you fully utilize the project so after 8 to 10 hours you can disconnect the charger and you can switch off the charger and keep that aside and this is the main on off switch below is on above is off and coming to the components so we have interfaced the l293 motor driver to the esp32 camera and between the motors two dc motors so l293 is a motor driver which can control two dc motors in bidirectional way so if you want to control the robots in forward motion then these two dc motors should rotate in forward direction for backward these two backward for left this one back and this one is forward right also in reverse so this one is backward and this one is the forward movement and this bidirectional motion of a two dc motors can be done with the help of the dual h bridge ic's so in that one the least ic is going to be the l293 it is a starting one ic and this one interfaces to the esp32 camera at pin numbers 12 uh, 13 14 15 pins and laser gun pin number two and the headlight is defaultly onboard led connected to the fourth pin so here we are using lm2596 buck converter so in order to provide the maximum current as it is consuming the heavy power along the laser so in order to provide the constant power so we are using lm2596 buck converter which will take the 12 volts input and provide as the 5 volts constant outputs to the whole system okay and uh, so here the like transistor board which is interfaced to the second pin as we discussed this it will act as a switch here so right before switching on the kit we need to enable the hotspot in your phone so for that just go to hotspot settings of your phone right so go to hotspot settings and change the hotspot name to project 4886 so and password should be 12345 one two three four five six one eight nine and uh, SSID you can check twice so PRO JECT 4886 without any space and without any capital letter over there so it's very important if you miss any character if you add any character the system won't connect to your mobile phone then it won't work right so I have enabled the hotspots and then one more application you need to install is network analyzer so this is the application you need to install the icon in the play store is like this so network analyzer yes this application purpose is to get the ip address of the or uh, esp32 camera and now you can switch on the cage so there we can see the one device will be connected to your phone right one device is connected now and then go to options do land scan and do the scan so there we will get the two IP addresses, one is our phones and another is the ESP32 camera IP address. So this is our IP address. Copy that 192.168.73.157. So this will be the fix in your phone. If you change the phone, then the IP address will be changes. And now go to Google Chrome. Right enter the same IP address over there enter so they will get the streaming live streaming directly okay and now for controlling purpose hold the switch so the icon button directly it's a forward movement 
and the right moments and the left moments same like backward okay and next laser on so the laser got light got on switched already so you can see the laser pointing also in camera and headlight on Right.